Hello everybody and welcome back to the Tagus Magician. Samsung has been known for its incredible flagship smartphones, but how does the Samsung Note 20 Ultra and the S21 Ultra stack up against each other? Today we are putting them head to head in design, display, performance and more to decide which one suits your needs. Stay with us till the end of the video before we decide the better one amongst the two. Starting with the boot up test. As you could see, S21 Ultra took the lead easily in the boot up test. Both devices have ultrasonic fingerprint scanners. Very reliable and secure on both devices. Very quick and fast actually on both devices. Let's check them for the last time. As you can see that. Starting with the design. The Note 20 Ultra has a sleek business-like look with sharp edges and iconic S Pen built in the body. It is a phone for productivity focused users. While the S21 Ultra has a more rounded modern aesthetic, it features a matte finish and feels more refined. While it's, it supports the S Pen but there is no slot for the store so you will need a cast. Both phone features stunning vibrant dynamic AMOLED displays with a 120Hz refresh rate but the Note 20 Ultra offers a slightly larger 6.9 inch screen while S21 Ultra has a 6.8 inch display with brighter colors and higher peak brightness perfect for outdoor visibility. And talking about their performances, the S21 Ultra is more powerful device equipped with Snapdragon 888 or Exynos 2100 while the S21 Ultra runs on a one year earlier Snapdragon 865 Plus or Exynos 990 and S21 Ultra also comes with up to 16 GB of RAM making it better suited for future proofing and handling demanding tasks like gaming and multitasking. So now we'll put them in a real world performance and optimization test to see how they fare against each other. Let's see if there are no apps running in the background as you can see that and both are connected to the same Wi-Fi networks. Let's first start with the phone app. That is almost the same time. Let's go to messages. Again the same. Let's go to browser. That was almost just 21 Ultra. Now music. That was the same. Let's check the speed test first of all. And here are the final results. Let's go to Google. That was S21 Ultra easily. And S21 Ultra is a bit smoother too. Let's head to YouTube. That is almost the same time. Let's check on Chrome. That is again S21 Ultra. Let's check Play Store. That was almost again S21 Ultra. Let's check maps. As you can see it was again S21 Ultra. Let's check Google Earth. That is almost S21. Let's check TikTok. As you can see it is S21 Ultra taking the lead yet again. Let's move to Netflix. It is again S21 Ultra easily. Next up we have Groupon. And this time Note 20 Ultra pulls the head. Let's check Facebook. That was almost the same time on both devices. Let's check Spotify. This time it is again S21 Ultra back with the lead. Let's go to Pinterest. That was almost no 20 Ultra. Let's check Amazon. That was almost just 21 Ultra. But no 20 Ultra did feel some leg. Let's go to Roblox. And it is again S21 Ultra. And both are somewhat leggy. In fact, a lot lagging. Let's check Mario Run.
Let's check Subway Surfers. That is surprisingly the same time. Let's go to Temple Run 2. It is S21 Ultra showing its power. Let's check Hill Climb Racing. Let's check Candy Crush Saga. Almost the same time. So another thing the Note 20 Ultra shines about is the productivity thanks to integrated S Pen. Whether you are jotting down notes, scratching or using ear gestures, it is an all-in-one tool for professionals on the go. But S21 Ultra offers S Pen's compatibility but without the built-in storage, it's more of an accessory than an essential feature. So if you want the best zoom, latest performance and future-proof specifications, S21 Ultra is the clear winner. But if productivity is still your priority, you cannot live without the S Pen, the Note 20 Ultra is a, still a fantastic choice. And both phones are powerhouses in their own right, so which one you choose you are getting one of the best Samsung devices. Let us know in the comments which one would you go for and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech comparisons.